Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? I'm starting a new game today called Factorio. Now this game hasn't been out, well it's been out for quite a while, it's been out for more than a year, um, but they've just had it on their website, they've uh, now moved to put it on Steam just over a week ago, so I think it's nearly two weeks ago now. Uh, but anyway, it's currently 99% on reviews, which is the highest game on Steam at the moment, so I thought I would take a look. and. I have gone in and I've done the campaign. Now the campaign is just to basically um, show you how to work things and how to figure it out. Uh, so I'm not going to do that. Close. Uh, uh, custom scenario. Sandbox. Free play. Or uh, we'll just go for a, a standard game. I think we'll just go for a standard game and then you can set all of this. So terrain, your iron ore and all the rest of it. Um, I don't really know much about it. I've done a couple of little bits. I'm not going to do the peaceful mode thing. I'm just going to go in with uh, nasty things attacking me as normal. And I think we'll just go with that. Now, yeah, like I said, I've done some of the basic stuff just to learn how to do it because I have read that it's a really steep learning curve. And it does seem to be. It's not huge, but it is some. So you get all these tips and tricks that you can look at to start with. There is a wealth of information all over the place. Um, right, your task is to launch a rocket to explore space. Do this by constructing a rocket silo and launching a rocket with a satellite. You'll need to research advanced technologies in order to unlock a rocket silo. Start small, work your way up with automation. Don't forget to protect yourself from the natives. The natives aren't that friendly. Uh, I got a gun and a clip. Oh, the music sounds pretty good. So this is my first area. We got the map up here. Press T to start new research. Right, well, we'll do that in just a second. So at the moment I've got uh, iron ore here and I've got stone. One of the really important things that you need to find quite quickly and early on is coal. If you don't have coal, you're in trouble. You need coal for everything. Um, iron ore and coal. We've got copper. We won't use that until later. Um, we don't really have any trees around either because you need some trees for the wood. Right, hang on a second. Let me just... Um, options, sounds. Let's change the music volume down a little bit. And I'll um, move that down. I quite like the music, but I don't want it too loud. Right. Uh, resume. Right, let's carry on with that. What's that like? That's a bit better. I might knock it down a little bit, a uh, bit more in a minute. So, so far, i got no coal. Now, I haven't looked a huge amount at uh, what to do. I, didn't, I, I sort of learned the basics. Right, let's just grab that tree while we're here. Uh, oh, I don't even have a pick yet, do I? Or do I? Yes. Oh, maybe I do. Right, well anyway, I got some raw wood. This is the crafting stuff, so you can craft these items here. You've got combat items, I can craft some clips, regular magazine. Then you've got the intermediate stuff, I can do some wood, some electronics, um, sciences, iron axe. It's very simple stuff, a boiler. I'm not even sure what to do with that because I just learned how to use a stone furnace and... Um, some chests and some belts. I didn't really learn, I didn't do anything to do with pipes or anything else. Um, I kind of like to have a bit of a learning curve while I'm playing the game as well. But well, I'm guessing that red over there is a nasty enemy. So let's just go and have a look, but we've got to be careful. I don't want to get too close. There's some more wood. Right, I'm, I'm not liking it. I can zoom out like this. Ah, yeah, right. You've got a massive great big spawner up there. Really sure I like that. Let's move in a little bit and have a look at our little dude here running along. I gotta be honest, I'm not impressed so far. Oh, that's just a rock. Yeah, you, you, you can find rocks as well. I gotta be honest, I'm not impressed. I got no coal here anywhere. I got no way of speeding this up either. I might have to go in and just start a new spawn because that looks like copper there. Um, night time now, so wherever I run, at least I have a little light in front of me. Oh, come on, where's the coal? I need coal. It's helpful to go out from your starting area until you find the bugs. Um, so I found some more bugs over there. There's another spawner over there, over that way. Um, let's carry on down towards the south. I I'm guessing I want to sort of start around this area. Oh, there's another spawner there. Um, zoom out a bit. Head a bit south. There we go. Right, that's a, a spitter spawner. I'm not sure what those things are. So, so far, I've got those in quite a big circuit around me, but I've got no coal. And if I don't find any coal soon, I'm just going to delete this map and I'm going to start again. Um, it is not worth the hassle of me starting without that coal. 
right? That is absolutely essential to being able to play this game properly. Um, and it's going to make it really difficult, right? We've got a whole load of trees down here. This is promising. Forest is good. I mean, you don't want loads of forest everywhere. You don't want it all forest because otherwise you can't see anything. You can't do anything. <gasps> What's this? What's this? Oh, iron ore. More iron ore. Still no coal. Oh, that's coal up there. I don't think so. Really? All this way and I got no coal anywhere. I got some oil. Um, which is nice. Yeah, this is the kind of thing that we do want later on. This is actually really boring. Um, right. Yeah, okay. Let, forget this. Uh, quick game. Yes. And I will go back to play. New game. And we'll, we'll do it all again exactly as it was. Generate. Right. Uh, close tab. Let's get out of that. Right. Nice and sunny. Where is the coal? I got masses of cob. Oh, there it is. Coal. Whoa, baby. Look at that massive coal deposit. Oh, that's brilliant. So, one guy did, um, I can't remember what it was. It was a post. He said you should walk out in every direction just to make sure that you know where the spawners are for the enemy so you know where they're going to be coming in from. Uh, I'm not too worried about that at the moment. Um, I don't know if I can get across. You can't cross the water, or at least not yet. I've got some more coal here. Um, just a little bit. That's fine. I think that's oil. That's a little bit of crude oil. Uh, I've got lots of sand here everywhere. So now I need some iron. Again, that's uh, an essential thing. We had loads of iron on the last one, even though we had no um, coal whatsoever. A little bit of stone there. I've got a big deposit of something down here. That's more copper and a bit of water. Some crude oils. There is an enemy down there. So I need to sort of wander around till I find... Right, there is iron. I've got loads of iron here. That'll do brilliant to start with. I can harvest that little bit. So I've got coal back over here. And then I've got iron there. That should be... Right, there's a um, thingy of bugs up there. I've got a bit more iron over here. Pretty sure that's bugs. Let me get a bit closer and we'll zoom out and have a look. Ooh, right, I got loads of crude oil up there, and then I got the biter spawner. So later on, I can go in and I can attack that and I can wipe it out. Uh, and I'm not going to worry about that now. Right, so I've established that I've got some iron here, and what was that? Was that coal? Or was that stone over there? I got stone. I need all of the above. I've start off with a drill and a furnace. That's all we start off with. I've got a couple of logs. I'm going to just start here. Right. First of all, you right click. We'll get some wood. we get some of that. We want a, um, a couple of bits. Uh, make a few items. There we go. Right. Now, I'm going to get some iron ore. First of all, if I get the, the burner mining drill, um, rotate it round so that it spits it out in that direction. That's where we'll do to start with. So I'm going to need fuel to power the thing. And then I'm going to want a stone furnace. And I'm going to want to turn this into plates. So I'm, going to not, I'm not going to move it too far away. I'm just going to plonk it right down there. That is everything that I've got. If I look at in my inventory, I've got eight iron plates and four raw wood. So I'm going to head over this way to the coal deposit, which is just here. It is a little bit further away than I'd have liked. I suppose I could really have just used that to start with on the very first one, but that's all right. So I'm going to have to mine this by hand. Oh, hang on. Can I make a pick? Maybe I need to do that first. Make an iron axe. Right, now I've made an iron axe. That's much better. There we go. So I'm going to just mine a couple of these. I'll get ten of these. Uh, that'll just put five in each and then I can sort of start off making the iron plates. As soon as I've got the iron plates, I can start making some more extractors and some belts so I can move the items that I got here right the way across. Uh, how many have I got now? That's 10, 11 and 12. Right. Now we run all the way back over to our extractor. I don't know if there's a faster way to run. I don't think so. I think this is as fast as you can go. Uh, where is my extractor? Oh, he's down here on this lot. There we go. So, first of all, I can put this in here. I'm going to put half of the coal in that one. And I'll put the other half of the coal in that one there. Then this guy here, what he's, he's just going to drop it onto the floor there to start with. So, that's fine. I'll go over near it, and I press F, I think, to pick it up. Uh, what have I, so, I got two of these. I got four of those. Four iron plates. You, you Basically, you turn the iron ore into plates. 
So I'll pick up a bit more. Now we go over to this one and I will put that in there. That's going to start making plates. I'll just hold it in there until I put something there to automate it a little bit. That's as much as we're going to get. Um, let's pick up a couple more. Now, the next thing that I want to get is this one here. It's called a burner inserter. Now, what this one does, if you want to... If you have a look on that list there, it says it needs an iron plate and an iron gear wheel. The iron gear wheel is in orange. That's because we can't act. We haven't actually got any, but it will make it automatically. Now, that's it there. I don't have to worry about actually making it. I can just click this one. If you look down there, it'll make them all automatically, one after the other. So the other thing I then want is some transport belts. Transport belts require more iron. So I'm going to oops, press F. So it does take a little while. It, it takes... What I'm going to do, just to speed this up a little bit, is if I go over... Hang on, let me just click on that one and put in the more iron ore. I've got four plates there. That's five plates. I will come over here and I can probably mine it faster than that one can take it out of the ground just for a second. Get a couple more bits of ore. It's a little bit slow starting this up, but as soon as you start getting a couple belts around, it starts to get really sort of interesting deciding where you're going to lay everything out onto the ground so i've got 10 of those plates now that's enough there so if i put this one here you press r to rotate rotate stuff around so i'll plonk that one down there like that he's going to need some coal so i think he's just take i think he just helped himself to coal out of that one you know i think he has i think he's pinched the coal out of that one okay that's fine let it do that so next one I want to bring up this and I make the transport belts. Now you get two of these each time I think, each time you press your button. So I'll rotate that round like that. Now the iron ore, now, if I rotate it across here, oop, pushing myself out of the way, uh, I'll stick one there like that and then rotate round, oh no. If I put that one there like that, oh no there so that's going to put that up to there like that it's going to put the coal up to here so now i need another one of these burner inserter thingies that one i need more iron for that uh which i don't have enough of let's get some of those and now i can make another burner inserter let's make two of those because we're going to use them now rotate that one round and now that is going to put the coal it first of all it loads itself up Ah, so why is that not taking... Oh, I made a mistake here. Right, hang on. I'll remove that one, and I'll get a bit of belt. Turn that round. Oops. Turn that round like that. Now, the bit of belt does it like this look. That, or that puts it out onto a belt. I don't need one of these inserter things. It just goes straight into the furnace. Look at the furnace. I've got four bits of coal, and I've got one bit there. I actually want to put the coal into this one because the um, inserter thingy that I used, I've inched it. So I've now got a very small production line. I've got to get fuel into this one and fuel into this one. And that's going to be our next little project. Uh, so if I just take these plates here, I'm going to mine a little bit more of this because it's just going to be quicker. It'll add to it as well. So that is busy burning now. I think one extractor when it's properly fueled will actually fire or supply two furnaces with items to uh, smelt right, i've got eight of those so let's come over here and put all eight of those in there and now i need fuel i could put i could put the wood in but i'm going to save that because i want some chests uh so let's go back over to the fuel over here i need to mine a little bit more of this and then the next thing oh we're going to need stone as well we need lots and lots of stone, because you need stone to make the furnaces. So I've got to mine some coal. Now, we've got hundreds of these. If you look on the right-hand side, where it says you've got the mini-map, and then underneath it says coal, it says the mining hardness, time, and then the amount. There's 500 just in one little square. And we've got loads of these. So these in the middle, they got over a 1,000 pieces in. So we've got loads of coal. The massive deposit here is enough to keep us busy for a long time. But I just want a little bit... Have I just broken my pick? Yeah, I just broke my pick. Okay. The next thing I'm going to need is some of that stone so that I can build some more furnaces. So actually, I don't think I do need that just yet. Um, let's have a look in here. Right, that's got three, so... 
I'll put that eight in there. Come over to this one. Put three in there. And what's this one got? He's only got one, so I'll put two more in that one. So I haven't got that much coal here. But the important thing is I want as many of these plates as I can get. Now I've got 21 plates, I can start making more transport belts. Uh, seven so far. Because it takes two iron plates and one iron plate and one gear wheel. And the gear wheel takes two iron plates. So you actually three iron plates per set of these here. So I've got 15 transport belts now. And I'm going to have to start... I'm going to need one of those. One of these extractor thingies. Uh, let me have a look, see what they're called. Production boiler. Burner mining drill, that's the one. And then the electric. The electric is later on. First of all, we want the burner mining drill. It takes three iron gear wheels, one stone furnace and three plates. Well, the gear wheels are two, so that makes six plates. Nine plates altogether. Oh, total raw, down the bottom. Look right down the bottom of that. Um, you can't sort of hold it up, but anyway. Down the bottom, I need five pieces of stone and nine iron plates, and it takes four seconds to build it all. That will give us a burner mining drill. So let me have a look in here. I've got 18 plates there, so I've got all the plates that I need. Now I'll go up to here and I'll mine some stone. I need another iron pick. I'll make one. There we go. And now I'll start mining some stone. I need five pieces of stone to make the first one. So I'm actually going to make... Uh, get 10 pieces of stone so that I've got enough for a second furnace. I'm going to need more furnaces. And those drill things, you need a furnace for each one. Right, there's our 10 stone. Now, this drill has, again, this one's run out of fuel. And what have I got here? I've got two in that one. I've got six there. I haven't really got enough fuel to spare. Let me just take those three plates. We'll head up this way. Where am I going? Let me just have a look here. Right, so I've got the burner mining drill. Look down in the bottom left-hand corner, down here. Everything's being made. So I've got another burner mining drill. I'm going to go with this one. I'm going to run over to the copper. Uh, not the copper, the coal. If I can get to it. There we go. Right. This one, I'm going to rotate it round so that it goes there. And I'm going to put it right onto the edge. That. Oh, he won't. F well, it will not fuel itself. I thought it would fuel itself for this. Let me just uh, pop one piece of fuel in there and see if it fuels itself now. I think this one should fuel itself. Maybe not. But anyway, what I'll do is I'll rotate that round and I'll put a belt there. Ah, now it does. Or does it? Uh, oh, I'm not sure. We'll come back to that. I thought that that one would um, fill itself up. So, if I just press and hold and then I run in a straight line, that'll use up all of those. Yes, it's not filling itself up with fuel. I don't know why. I thought it did. I'm going to have to look into that. I really thought that that one filled itself up with fuel. I thought it was kind of like self-automated. Uh... I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to put a little sort of feedback loop on here. I put one of these. Yeah. I put one of these extractor thingies. Uh, how can I do this? If I put that one there. Yeah. No. I don't think you can pass coal from one to the other. You can only do it in this direction. If I put one there and then I rotate round and I put one there that's gonna pick that's gonna feed itself so now I need a piece of belt one two I got enough for two pieces of belt there so I get one piece of belt and put it like that there let me just get rid of that belt right that should now is that gonna feed oh hang on I need another piece of belt to go there like that so that will feed itself, and then it's going to feed into the extractor, so that sort of performs an almost infinite loop. If you've got automatically feeding into the extractor, it will only put in five pieces of coal. Once it's got five in there, I think it's five, it might only be, yeah, it's, it is five. So once you've got the five in there, it'll stop, and this belt will fill up, it'll back up, and then it will start just feeding it along this way. So now I need a whole load more. I don't know if I can pick these up off of here. Yes, I can. Just stand here and press F. And that will pick everything up. 
So that's all the coal. So while that's feeding itself, that is just going to mine coal infinitely now. So I can bring a whole load of coal down here. And I will put nine into that one, like that. I will put another five into that one. And then this one here also takes coal. I'll put the rest into there. So that is going to loop through here, which will get me some iron plates. Then I want another one of those. The extractor, the burner extractor. That one. Uh, I can make the stone furnace. I just need some more iron plates. Nine iron plates altogether. Five, six. I got two. And uh, seven. Right, there's enough for making another burner extractor. Uh, burner mining drill. Sorry, not burner extractor. Burner mining drill. I've got to get this right. I need to, get, I need to have the correct terminology for this. So if I pop that one there... Then I take a belt and rotate it round so that it goes there like that. Should go into the end of that one. Or does it? Is it? Oh, that one's still feeding into it. And that one should feed in as well. So they, they both pick up as they go past. So it's all now coming over to this one and feeding into the furnace. Nine plates there. So now I want to make some more uh, transport belts. And I need to get some coal into that one. I'm not too worried about that for a second. I will run over and I'll go and get some more coal. I want to get some more transport belts. So I got seven of these. Um, and now what I'm going to do is I want to get a big long line of transport belts from up here where the coal is. And that is going to run all the way back over. So I'm going to, first of all, I'm just going to pick up... Actually, no, I won't. Not first of all. Let's get these down. I want to bring them out in a straight line that way. Plonk it down. And run that way. There we go. Just pick up all of this coal that's coming through. There we go. I think that's an auto save that just sort of glitched a little bit there. I don't know how I'm doing for time. I've got a I've got a little um, timer set on my phone so that when it goes off, uh, we'll know that it's time to stop. So I don't overrun because this game is very easy to sort of get caught up in it. I was only doing the tutorials earlier, and I got very caught up in them then. Um, easy to lose track of time. So I got those working there. That's coming along quite nicely. I got, oh, I need another piece of belt to do that one. So let's extract, oh, I've got 21 of them now. So, ah, if you shift click, it'll make everything that it can. That's a, that's a handy little tip to know. So let me rotate that belt round there and plonk one in there. That's going to move that ore. There's got two of those feeding into that one. Now, I thought that one, or maybe it's the other way around. Maybe it's two of these will feed one furnace. So one furnace will take the produce from two of them. Uh, I don't know why it's building back like that. Or is it? Oh, I see. I know why. Um, yes, because it only puts in a couple into the furnace. Um, so I want to get some more furnaces soon. Um, my phone is going. I couldn't actually hear it. So in my next episode, what I'm going to do is we're going to expand this now. We're going to run the belts from here. We're going to run all the way back over to our iron extraction point and sort of automate this as much as we can so that we can start putting plates into a chest. And once I've done that, then we move on to the next little bit. There is one other thing that I haven't looked at. Whoa, I have never looked at this before in my life. This is the first time. That's research. Uh... We'll have a look at that next time. So we'll have a look at the research. This is just basically just getting the very first of it started up. Um, I've no idea where, I, where we sort of go from here, but eventually we want to launch a rocket. That was the, the main point of it all. So thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. I hope you didn't find this sort of too dull. I, I realised I didn't actually do a huge amount in this episode, to be honest. Um, I've just kind of messed around a little bit and ran around in circles. So I'll try and accomplish a little bit more in our next episode. But again, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.